Hey you guys, this is Melissa from MomSimpleLife.com and today I just want to show you how my shower is looking. Uh, since we got so many plants going, these are our new tomatoes. I think one is a beefsteak tomato. That whole tray is beefsteak and the other tray is uh, cherry tomatoes. And then this one is the Rutger tomatoes which they're getting pretty big here. And we worked on transplanting these today. Uh, my kids helped out, so hopefully they survive. You know how kids are sometimes with uh, plants. So I'm hoping that they survive. And yes, there's not always soil all the way to the top. Uh, hence my kids helped out. <laughs> but uh, they are looking pretty good so far. I ended up giving them a little bit of the weekly feed and the nitrogen since I did do a transplant. Uh, not a lot of it, but enough where I think it'll do really good transplanting. And up here I have our own garden, what we're gonna plant outside in the garden, which I really need to transplant those lettuces right away. I have romaine and then I have, I think it's oak leaf, oak leaf lettuce. And I need to transplant those right away because they are growing too much. And I think what's happening with these over here on why they're not so, doing so well is because of the powdery mildew. I'm probably gonna restart those. You can see how they're kind of like, they're not doing good, but you could tell on the soil that the powdery mildew is getting out of control. I did want to uh, put some of that cinnamon on on it, and that seemed to help a, lot, a little bit, but now I, I think that they're st stunting the growth, that mildew that's growing on top. So I have uh, down here, I need to, I actually already ordered four more lights on Amazon. Uh, they're the style of bulb. And I actually ordered uh, one of the lights that Elias Prepper uses for his uh, his uh, growing. I think it's the T5 system. I think that's what it's called. But I ended up ordering that today because I am outgrowing the shower. As you can see, there's no way I would get all of our pots in here plus my plants in here. So we end up, uh, we're probably going to have uh, the tomatoes out in the garage. And I'll probably use the same space saver like or emergency blanket because I have a whole bag of these that I got off of Amazon. Really cheap compared to buying it at the store. Each individual, at least I could get a whole bunch for a lot less. So I'm probably going to put that over just to keep the warmth in. And that's the whole point if you don't want the warmth to be escaping. And then it also has a little bit of the reflective properties of the emergency blankets there. So when we get that going, I'll show you. I don't even know honestly what I'm going to use right now, but once that comes in the mail and once I have it set up, I'll show you what I have going on. But there's that going right now. Just one more look. And then I do have this on a timer. And don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and like. And thank you so much for your guys' support. It really does mean a lot to me when people sit there and subscribe and actually come comment on my videos and are checking out my videos. It just helps out so much to know I got a whole community of supporters out there and I love it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.